Hi, we're at uh, Gina M. Woodruff Art Gallery in Long Beach. I'm going to say a few words about my father, William Rice Dunbar. Um, he made a career as an aeronautical engineer. And sometime in his late 60s, he called me and asked me if I had a, a chainsaw that I wasn't <laughs> using. And I said, I do. And he said, would you send it to me? So I did. And it turns out the El Dorado Park and Recreation Facility here, installation in, in Long Beach, has a kind of a corporation yard where they bring windfallen trees in after storms and they allow local woodworkers to come and cut wood as much as they want. And my dad started doing slab furniture and slab clocks and filled his attic full of wood that he was storing, filled a corner in the backyard full of wood that he was storing. And um, this was when I was in my probably late 40s, early 50s. And he was so prolific that I asked him, I said, geez, Dad, you have a lot of creative energy. Um, he said, well, I actually started out an art major at University of Washington, and the war broke out. And so I didn't think I was going to be able to survive as an artist, so I turned to engineering. So he went through a 40-year career with this pent-up creative energy. Um, and so he, he got into the woodworking, and, you know, my dad was a bit eccentric. Um, he, he was a, a devout atheist, yet he instilled in me a lot of, I think, what could be construed as spiritual ideals. He was, was honest to a fault. He abhorred litter. He loved nature. He loved gardening. He did a lot of things that would, would, would kind of make him a spiritual being. And he also was a health fanatic long before it was fashionable. Uh, I woke up every morning to my dad running around the backyard. Um, he, he ran a mile every morning of his life. And, and uh, my brother asked him once, he said, geez, dad, how long do you want to live? And my dad said, well, I don't want to live forever. I just don't want to die. <laughs> And he lived to be almost 101. Yeah, he was a couple weeks short of 101. He died peacefully in his sleep. He, he won the game. He lived life on his terms. Um, and he, he created a lot of art in his 70s and 80s and even into his 90s. He uh, walked to the gym twice a week until he was 98. And uh, he started losing the strength in his legs. But uh, he was definitely an individual. Uh, a self-made man. Almost a renaissance man. And, and yeah, I, I, you know, I feel proud that he was my father. So that's what I've got to say about him. Thanks.